morning. Uh, it's a little late this morning. We've had some schedule shifts in our household, so I, I'm a little late today on the devotion, but we're here and it's still the morning. So uh, if most of you haven't gotten started with your day yet, then maybe it won't matter. But uh, I'm here just on our little brick patio out here at church and uh, ready for devotion today. So let's start out with a, a prayer and then we'll hop right in. Let's pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for the sunshine after a day of rain. Uh, rain also nourishes your creation, but we appreciate the sunshine as well. So thank you for today. Thank you for all the different ways that you'll show up in our lives today uh, and help us to follow you out into the world to do your work with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today I uh, am still sort of stuck on, on a thought that I had last week. So on Sunday, uh, we read from Second Corinthians chapter 4, and I talked a little bit about the beauty of, of Paul's imagery of, of having the light of God inside of us. Uh, and even in our broken and clay and fragile vessels, uh, we, our bodies, we, um, we have this light of God, which is something incredible and mystical, but also inspiring and empowering and powerful. Uh, so that's a, a good message to have. I was looking into some of the language about the transfiguration. And so the, the idea of metamorphosis almost is, is sort of the word, the Greek word from the transfiguration story and it's the same kind of word that paul is using before the passage that we read on sunday talking about how the light of god or the presence of christ or uh, the existence of faith in our lives does the same kind of thing it it transfigures us it metamorphosizes us it it changes us it does something uh real and tangible in our lives and i sort of talked about that on friday too after our um, islam awareness dinner and talking about how the, the guest speakers said that their faith is why they do certain things in their lives. And so I am still stuck on that question. How does our faith make a difference in our lives? What does it transform or transfigure inside of us? What does it change in our lives? What difference does it make that, that we have our faith in? And, and what does it call us to do or empower us to do or encourage us to do? Those kinds of things. We had some comments about things in the world not really changing and so it, it gets exhausting sometimes about uh, about having faith but maybe not seeing anything change in the world so what good is it sometimes and that's a good question because uh, because we spend a lot of our days just sort of either going through the motions or uh, waiting for something to change that kind of thing so what good is our faith what what has it transformed in you uh, and and what are you holding on to? What? Why do you continue to, to have faith? Is it up to you? Is it just something that's a part of you because God put it there? <laughs> but um, but I'm still stuck on that question. What what is our faith transfiguring or transforming inside of us? If anything, um, I, I believe that it is, even if we don't realize it or notice it or are aware of it. But uh, but what is that? So I'm still stuck on that question. Maybe I'll have some some answers this morning as well. Uh, but I just thought it was interesting to think about that story of the transfiguration and the language that Paul uses when talking about what Christ is doing in us. So let's pray. We'll go about our days and see what God has in store for us today. Let us pray. God, thank you for being with us and in us and around us and, and behind us and under us when we need you. We are so grateful for the ways that you lift us up in this world and hold us up when we are falling down and we ask that you uh, continue to do that. We also ask that we be more aware of the ways that your love and your uh, hope and your faith are uh, are transforming our lives and, and changing something inside of us that we can't help but, but become kind of a part of. So thank you for that and help us to be uh, more empowered by your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a great